So you like donuts, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, have all the donuts in the world! <laughs> oh, more. College eats. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of College Eats. And uh, today, we're going to be making some microwave mac and cheese. Super easy, super tasty. And, uh, you know, it's super fast to make something great for you college kids. So, you know, let's start cooking. Alright, so for our microwave and macaroni and cheese, we have one third a cup of macaroni, one half cup of water, we have some milk, we have some Ruffles jalapeno popper chips. Uh, any flavor chips that you have in your house or like to eat will be fine. Got about a half cup of cheddar cheese, again, any kind of cheese you have in your house or any kind of cheese you like will work. I have a coffee mug and I have a white bowl and again any kind of bowl that you have in your house like or would like to use will work just fine. So step number one for the macaroni we're gonna take our macaroni and pour it into a cup and for those of you who think that's not a lot of macaroni it uh, doubles in size so just wait and then we're gonna take our one half cup water pour it right in meow. And we're going to the microwave. Hello. So now we got our macaroni ready. Open our microwave macaroni in. And we're gonna do two sessions of two minutes. So we're gonna do our first two minutes. I'm gonna start that up. So it's been two minutes. Um, step, I forgot to tell you guys in the first part, just add a little bit of salt. Do that before you put it in the microwave for the first time. So after two minutes, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna mix it around. It's almost cooked. Looks like I could use a touch more water. You guys can be the judge when you're doing this. I'm just gonna throw about, honestly, a few drops in there, just to be safe. <clears throat> and then back into the microwave for two minutes. So it has been four minutes in the microwave total time. Uh, I have a pretty strong microwave, so you guys might have to do it for another minute or so. Just take it out and, and uh, test it out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pour it into a bowl. All out there. Macaroni is cooked. Now I'm going to take my cheese, add it, and some milk. So the cheese and milk part, guys. Uh, it doesn't have to be my exact measurements. Um, you know, it's whatever you like. If you like it creamy, if you like it cheesy, it's up to you guys, right? So I'm adding my milk in. Of course, a little salt. And hit hair. Super fast mode. Yeah, they don't screw up here. I didn't think this part through, honestly. Uh, I'm going to do a replate. Because I did not think this part through at all. So... Back into the bowl, I got most of it in. And now we're gonna pop it back in the microwave for one more minute. Yes, so our mac and cheese is coming out of the microwave. I gotta tell you, it actually tastes pretty darn down tootin' good. So uh, I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. I mean, that looks pretty good. I think I added a little too, bit too much milk, but I mean, up for you guys to judge so how much milk you want to put in that is so I've got my jalapeno papas here and I like to have mac and cheese nice and crunchy so instead of taking the times with the breadcrumbs we're just gonna you know some chips on there right milk. I would restrain on the milk and if you want more after put it in. Mine's a little bit runny but oh well. So let's do the taste. You know what? <sighs> Fuck. That's actually really bomb. Chips give it a nice little kick. Um, it's creamy dreamy which is great but uh, 
I mean, you know, five minutes for macaroni and cheese, that's pretty bomb, so. Hope you guys give it a try. Hope you like this video. Next week, I'm gonna show you how to super fast time on your mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, I mean, grilled cheese, that's the one. All right, see you next week.